Okay. So before starting with the annoying video and with the with the detailed uh, explanation of this inverter right here, uh, I will tell you that the, this one I can tell you it's a modified inverter for the Tweezy. It will fit on it any 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 Tweezy. This is a uh, plug and play. This is not uh, like the original one. Uh, you have this USB cable right here uh, to to update the firmware on the little power box that's inside there. Uh, I will tell you very fast uh, about the regeneration level. It has uh, stock. Uh, it has five levels. Uh, you can only choose these levels uh, while the car is driving. Pressing the D button will will get you more regeneration. Uh, the N button, the both D plus R, will get you to the standard to the standard standard uh, regeneration value. And uh, with the air, you will get less regeneration. The the, the first level, it's eight percent, with a ten percent foot foot brake regeneration. The second level is a thirteen percent natural regeneration and fifteen percent foot brake. Third level, eighteen percent, with twenty three foot brake. Level four, twenty three percent, with twenty five foot brake. And the fifth level, it's 25% regeneration and 28% foot break. Okay, uh, then I will explain uh, the, the free modes, the free power modes that you have uh, on this uh, one right here. Uh, this one was not original. So after I fixed the battery and all his systems, I, I got, uh, I was getting the free famous beeps uh, with the red light on and the battery sign the can clip uh, was making the translation of that as an immobilizer issue but in reality with the with the help of Kenneth Nielsen I found out that the, the inverter was not original so uh, so I had to go for this modified uh, right here it's plug and play uh, I already installed it, uh, as you can see. And there you have no beeps, no red light, no battery sign. This one is modified. Uh, when you turn on the key, you automatically go get the go sign. So you don't have to, to, to turn the key all the way up. Uh, how how was the original version the, the stock the the stock version was like that you you had to you had to go all the way with the key to get the go sign this one comes on automatically and you can choose drive there you have have the drive I will press the accelerator as you can see uh, right now it's working it's all fine The power uh, selector is something like uh, you press for more than five seconds the drive button. The drive button right here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you get the service light on. Right now it's making the tuning level to the maximum power. And when the lights, when the light go, goes off, you're ready to go with the with the power setting. Okay. So right now uh, I'm on power mode. I'm on the on the power setting. Okay. I got the drive button. Okay. 
can already feel the torque, it's, it's trembling the cars. As you can see, I have the supports under, the car is not touching the ground, so it's, it's very shaky. <laughs> it's dancing all around. I think it's coming towards me. And you have to do the same thing to turn to, to normal tuning. You have to press both of the buttons, the end button, and you will get uh, the normal uh, tuning mode. Then uh, if you want to go to light tuning, you, you have to press the, the air button right here. And you will go down to the 18 Newton meters that you will get up to 17 kilometers per hour. I will explain that later. Right now I wanted uh, to, to show you that this plug and play works works really great. All I have to do is, is plug it in. Uh, I will uh, I had to use some thermal uh, paste right there because uh, the thermal pad uh, you can't uh, you can use the same one. Uh, uh, it won't do that job. Uh, you have to take it off and use a new one or thermal paste. Uh, how I used, I used the, the thermal paste in this case to to install the the heat sink right here. Then all I had to do is connect all the wiring, the plug right there. I made the this USB cable go out right there that's for the this will be useful for uh, upgrading the firmware and uh, okay let's go with let's go further with with the annoying video okay <laughs> okay so today we're going to talk about the tweezies Sevcon 4 uh, This right here It's the inverter that turns the the Continuous current of the uh, Tweezy's battery into alternate pre-phase and feeds it to to the motor uh, This piece right here uh, I had many problems uh, with this one, with this particular one. Uh, I had uh, five flashes light. It has a green light right there that tells you all the error codes. One of you guys asked me these days about an error that uh, he told me that uh, the inverter doesn't flash and uh, it has an issue 0x5143 this one right here it's a very severe code and we're talking about the Verlong the Verlong signal uh, is failing. You have a you have a failure signal on the Verlong. You will have to check all the peripheral devices on your Tweezy to repair this uh, this fault right here. Mine mine uh, was different. Uh, we're talking about. Uh, uh, five flashes uh, on the first level and uh, the immobilizer activated so uh, as I bought this Tweezy broken I didn't knew uh, that uh, we were talking about a non-original piece uh, this, uh, this one uh, it looks like the original one was broken uh, or something else they changed it and they didn't knew that this wasn't a piece plug and play this is in fact this is not plug and play 
This one you see right here, it's a modified uh, inverter. It will work on any Tweezy. You can change it from one to another. As you can see, we have an outgoing USB cable that's connected to a mini power box inside the inverter. Uh, this one right here, it's a modified Cefcon Gen 4 48 volts, 500 ampere and uh, it permits you, it will let you choose between three different levels of tuning. You can choose uh, the light tuning, we're talking about 18 Newton meters in that case a medium tuning, we're talking about 19 Newton meters and a maximum power tuning that will get you up to 100 Newton meters of torque you can choose that by using uh, um, the drive selector um, pressing one of the three buttons, uh, the drive button uh, will get you to the maximum power tuning all you have to do is start the car and hold uh, for more than five seconds the drive button the serve lamp will come on and it will start the tuning process and when the serve light will disappear it means uh, that you're ready to go uh, pressing both of them you will turn to normal tuning and uh, the the rear button will permit you to to go to the light tuning mode to to explain better what we're talking about right here the biggest difference uh, it's above 17 kilometers per hour per hour um, the biggest difference is between uh, between these three tuning options it's the torque, the Newton meters from 0 to 17 kilometers per hour it will change the torque after 17 kilometers per hour they're all the same it will get you a maximum speed of 115 kilometers per hour on flat road the real speed will be from 95 to 105 kilometers per hour depending on the wind force and your direction of course you have many options uh, uh, choosing uh, the recovery power uh, this USB cable that I shown you first uh, it will permit you using a X loader program it will permit you to update uh, to the to the last firmware the power box that's inside there and uh, that's about all um, as you can see the difference between the original and this one right here, the modified one, it's that when I uh, when I switch the key on after uh, three seconds, I get the go mode without turning the key all the way. Then I can choose the direction. And uh, it will go if I press the drive button for more than five seconds uh, it will start in the tuning it will start the tuning procedure and it will go to the maximum tuning mode pressing uh, the two buttons together will get you to the normal mode Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, this modified inverter right here solved my problem because um, 
the car uh, it was the last thing on this car that uh, that didn't work I had the immobilizer activated I was thinking about the key the um, immobilizer error was on the diagnostic tool right there I, I see I saw the car had this problem because uh, on the dashboard you you will not you will not get any error on the dashboard you you will have to check the car with a can clip at, at least with a Delphi it will show you that uh, this piece is not uh, original it will tell you that the immobilizer is blocked uh, that's an issue that Renault activated on, on these inverters right here uh, if you if you can if you have any problems or any codes uh, any error codes on this inverter you you can contact me I have a list with all these problems with all his problems right here and uh, nothing hoping this was useful I'll see you next time